This video was brought to you by a better planner, Ken Power, Marcus Biel, Stormberg, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We're now in front of the house, and behind me here you see a Kia EV GT. This is the beefiest Kia ever. So um, I can show that it has some design elements here, but what you will notice is these green, yellowish uh, brake calipers. And we have Michelin, uh, what is this? Michelin Pilot Sport 4S, oh, 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 oh. sticky tires, 255, 40, 21. What about the rear? Uh, thing, where I can't find it, there. there. What, 255, okay, same, yeah. So non-staggered. But okay, so I've charged the car to 100%. I'm going to do a range test. And you see here, at least car scan reports that we have 73.6 kilowatt hour. I believe we have more. I'm going to measure it uh, over the over the years now. I've measured different uh, EV6 and also some um, uh, Ionic 6, Ionic 5, and I get very various results somewhere between uh, 20. Uh, 72.5 or something to 75 kilowatt hour. So let's do the measurement today. Uh, the way I do it is that uh, we charge the car to 100%. I reset some trip meters and then we start driving and we do various consumption tests also. And then we measure both the battery and the, uh, and the consumption. So yes, we are now in Oslo. First step is to drive over to Dahl further up here. And then we do the measurement, the, the, the 90 and 120 test over there. So outside is nice and warm today, 23 degrees Celsius. Oh yeah, let's get going. We are now at Ayonti, Soko K Dal. So um, yeah, the consumption from Oslo to here is 249 watt hour per kilometer. So uh, we have now, wait, no, no, the wrong one. Um, you see, we have after recharging, we'll save this one for the total test of the battery. And then we'll just reset this one for uh, the 120 test. So, uh, we will just go to S band back again. That's uh, wait. How do I go? Okay, wait, wait, wait. go back, back, back. Uh, you have to click this, and then you see that is uh, thirty-eight kilometers times two round trip. So that's seventy-six kilometers roughly. Okay, let's go. All right, we're on the move now. So we have to cruise one hundred twenty-four kilometers per hour to match one hundred twenty GPS speed. And uh, many people might assume that, okay, so well, actually it's 119. Uh, well, I have to go 125. Yeah. No wonder why the Kia people are driving so slow. Come on, let me see. Yeah, and also it's doing this. It's not following the set speed strictly. Well, it could be because of the car in front. Let me change lane here. Okay, now it's 100. Yeah, okay. So you see, I always try to match the GPS speed because uh, cars, they don't have the exact same speed. And this might actually affect the consumption. If you drive it at 120 uh, speed, though, uh, you might actually be driving at 120, uh, 115 kilometers per hour. But yeah, what I was about to say is that some people, they are confused that, okay, so if the speedometer is showing incorrect here, is, is that the same same uh, relation for when we talk about distance error. No, distance error is different again. Uh, pretty much every car manufacturer will show too much here uh, on speed, but when it comes to distance, that one, it depends. Some cars are under-reporting and some cars are over-reporting. So we will also measure that in another uh, test. Yeah, I think in a 90 test. So you see here, 20 degrees Celsius today, nice weather. It's now green in Norway, finally. So I have to figure out if I should cruise at 125 or 124. Yeah, hmm. Um, yeah, I'll figure out something. Probably 125, yeah. The consumption so far is 301 watt hour per kilometer. Oh, that's a bit high. And you can see here that uh, it's pretty cool. So we were cruising at 120 kilometers per hour. We are only using the rear motor. And then of course we need more power. Well, actually, wow, there, there, there. Now it kicks in, okay, in regions on, on both motors. Hmm. And then for more power output, yeah, then it uses both motors. So this is pretty cool. This car can actually disengage the front motor. Uh, it's called, um, I don't know what it's called again. It's actually a clutch, but it's like a dumb clutch. It doesn't have variable uh, disengagement or engagement. It just has a, an on and off. So yeah, and then I think, I think we're supposed to have some kind of auto lane change here. Let me see. When you have this symbol here, then we just touch the brake, uh, no, sorry, the, the turn signal. How does that work? Yeah, and then it changes lane automatically. Whoa! Nice! 
and then how is the mules and do they are oh, okay windsock all right uh, it's normally the windiest around uh, Minnesota. When we get further inland, uh, where there is more trees, then uh, we have less wind. So uh, yeah, temperature is still 19 degrees Celsius. Consumption has dropped to 275 now because it went up uh, on the downhill. But this is pretty cool. Yeah, forgot to show you that at Dahl, you see this one, we have a compass and it shows you elevation also. So um, at Dahl, we were at 200, I think. Now we're down to 145. Uh, meter elevation so yeah nice and then I can show the interior it's like whoa what the heck is this huh bucket seats wow yeah and uh, the rest of the interior looks more or less like uh, uh, the regular Kia and then okay well, we have some uh, uh, what is this uh, neon green stitching it's just the neon green theme here and then what the heck is this button well you, you can actually by accident bu bump into this when you are turning but if you press this one this is the gt button gt means grand theft if you really want to get away from the bullet eye you press this button and then a smart cruise control disengaged um it, it just yeah also you have now no traction control we are now in drift mode okay maybe not the answer yeah and then we'll be like if you're panicking you're like oh no no how do you get back you try to re-enable cruise control it says no no conditions not met and you will oh press it again press it again no even if you press it again nothing happens it's still you see it's still yeah cruise control is off what you have to do is you have to press this one then get to normal mode and then you can re-engage uh, cruise control wait Okay, uh, let me just uh, yeah, re resume this one. So, yeah, uh, I mean, the, the button is nice, but if you accidentally press it, you know, you have to know what to do to uh, go back to the regular cruising mode. This one should be used on the track. Wow, I've got to say, even when hammering at 120 kilometers per hour, yeah, hammering, and the Germans here, <laughs> um, on rough Norwegian asphalt and with low profile tires, the sound level is pretty good. You know, Kia, uh, like 20 years ago, used to be somewhat noisy. I remember <laughs> the classic Soul. That one was a bit noisy, but over the years, Kia, they refined E-Nero and then this one to be better and better. So yeah, but I guess if you want the best comfort, you probably want to go for uh, uh, balloon tires, but uh, that would be if you have uh, the the ev6 gt yeah the grand theft version yeah you just have to, you're doomed to go for low profile tires all right 120 test 259 watt hour per kilometer Ooh, and then distance seems slightly off but okay let's do 90 test all right we're on the move so yes we have to cruise at 95 kilometers per hour the consumption is kind of high 211 watt hour per kilometer Ooh. I guess uh, blame tires, I always blame tires. Okay, so we are getting close to the weighing station. Let's check if this one is any heavier than the regular uh, EV6. Oh, uh, she, we have CA, kaput, yeah. Always be kaput. So we have to check another scale then uh, near Gardermoen instead. Oh, now there's almost no wind here at Mjosen. But it's interesting. Um, now that we're driving at low speed, it's regening and also using the rear motor still. You know, I would uh, assume that uh, the front motor is more efficient. Normally, well, pretty much with every all-wheel drive that has some power, then the, the most powerful motor is in the rear for uh, physical reasons. So, um, yeah, okay. Uh, let me see. Wait, it's a bit hard to understand what is going on now. It means, okay, it means that we are driving. It's the same color. Maybe, let me see if I switch off. Uh, uh, so then, oh, okay, that one uh, very similar. This one is driving. This one is region. Not clear difference between them. All right, we're gonna do the coasting test now. Let's see if we can set any records here. So yeah, I will not use zero region because zero region will actually region a little bit. Let me show you here. Okay, you see here, it's regening a little bit. So we will not do that, we just increase the speed again until we see that uh, the power is beneath zero. I will, go, I will use neutral. Wait, what? Are you guys... Okay, okay, let's go neutral now, yeah, right. What, what the heck? Yeah, okay, it just bugged me about shifting conditions not met or something. Okay, we are gaining speed now. 
Oh, barely. You can see here. Uh, let me see. This one is yeah. I think it's close to the to the GPS speed. Uh, picking up speed. We might have a little bit of headwind, slight headwind. Korean car should be uh, quite efficient, right? Um, well, not today, so not today. Uh, I'm not sure why. I feel like we have syrup under the tires. It's not rolling nearly as fast as we would expect it to. Uh, like, I, look, look here. I don't even have to blur out the speed here. Um, okay, let me see. Just keep going. Keep going. Maybe we pick up a little bit more speed now. Oh, no. Wait. What is causing this? Uh, is it uh, is it the tires? Is it the drag coefficient? Is it the headwind? It's Weissnisch. But all I can say is, well, well, well. Yeah, okay, okay. We I think we have to. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 Okay. No, no, wait, wait. I have to put it in gear first. Okay. There we go. That's it. Over here we hit 90 kilometers per hour. Okay. We just turn around at Rutshögda, and uh, yes, now we're heading back south. So um, the consumption is 191 watt hour per kilometer. That is actually quite high. I mean, this car is smaller than the Model Y, something between the Model 3 and the Model Y. And like I mentioned, Kias in general, they're quite efficient. Uh, so um, yeah, I mean, it's a GT, it's the performance version, but the Model 3 performance or the Model Y performance, they are almost as efficient as the long range ones but uh, with this car mm, no and then let me show you guys here something before you make any uh, false assumptions uh, we are now in mo normal mode you switch to sport mode will it then use both motors nope it still uses the rear motor what about in eco mode will it then use the front motor instead and be more efficient uh, nope it's still using the same uh, basically, what this means is that the car is already doing what it is possible for making the car as most as efficient as possible. So, if it's inefficient uh, for other reasons, then it's most likely out of its control. Man, we've been driving on this uh, semi-rough Norwegian asphalt, uh, which creates tiny vibrations, and then it actually gets into the car. And for the longest time now, I've been hearing this tiny rattling from somewhere here. Let me, let me take the microphone out, you can hear better maybe. I can't locate it, but it's, it's here somewhere. Man, car manufacturer, they have to stop making these glossy and these reflective panels inside the car. Uh, if I would buy this car, I would wrap it to black matte or something matte, something not reflective. Yeah, and then when this goes over, then something else takes over. <laughs> All right, this test is done. 186 watt hour per kilometer, and then this car is under reporting distance by 0.4%. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if we will even bother counting it. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to this trip. And then we drive it down. We have 14 kilometers left. So to drive it down to almost zero. Okay, now we have 10% left on this play, 14% on um, uh, BMS. But look here, look at this one. How many kilowatt do we have? Oh, 220, oh wow. 220 kilowatt power left. Oh, not too bad. Okay, now let's go check the weight. Okay, let's see. A regular EV6 is uh, 2220. Front axle here, 1120. Oh, the whole car, 2280. Okay, so it's 60 kilograms more for some reason. Hmm, I wonder what that extra stuff is. A bigger inverter, bigger motor, maybe. We are done, D-O-N. We have turtle mode, well, wow, tortoise mode. So every time we click this, you see one kilometer range left, 0% on display. Oh, and then it comes back here. Yeah. A half percent left. And uh, you see, car scanner reports 220 watt hour per kilometer. So based on these numbers, 
we will see how many kilowatt hour we have and then battery is nice and warm and not too high delta yet two degrees celsius delta so let's see now does this one have more powerful cooling will it rapid gate it's only 22 degrees celsius outside i want to have it nice and and cold inside the car when we are charging so let's plug it in then Ooh, 210 kilowatt yeah nice let's fire up the car no 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 what the heck this is the asian thing it wants to play music every time you see here turn off the car turn off the car like did he not remember that i pressed mute here in the tesla it will of course remember the state and then resume the state uh, when you start okay 212 kilowatt Ooh, nice okay let's see now the battery will it heat up or not Wow, look at that speed, 200. Oh, yeah, this is the 800 volt high. We see here we have 708 volt. Okay, let's do the numbers first and then we're gonna have some more action after this one. But okay, so today I measured 74.4 kilowatt hour. It's kind of weird that uh, it fluctuates so much uh, between this, these cars should have the same batteries, but okay. And then uh, it was kind of thirsty, you see, compared to Model Y performance, performance even has I mean, model y even has fatter tires is a bigger car but uh, model y performance is more efficient also similar weather so yeah it seems like here they made a beast i mean uh, this kia ev6 gt is faster than model y performance i haven't tried co to uh, co to 200 kilometers per hour uh, myself but I, when i went to frankfurt it was freaking beast but it is thirsty so this is usually what happens is that if you want to go for something fast from legacy automakers you have to either decide whether you want to get efficiency or the speed or power but for tesla you can at least get both of them without taking too much like, pen too much penalty i think mainly the model y performance is thirsty than model y long range because it has fat the tires but uh yeah um I guess now we just have to uh, sit and wait a little bit. Oh, oh, okay. Let me charge a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to show something. Look, look here, look here. I don't know if you can read it here. It says maximum power output mode can be used if battery charge is over 70% after starting vehicle. Whoa, what the heck is that? Is that ludicrous mode? We have to test it. Wait, we have 67% now. Okay, let's wait a little bit more. Uh, what the heck is going on here? I want my 70%. We're charging at 31 kilowatt hour per hour. Battery is at 53 degrees. And now we have 12, uh, 11 degrees delta now. What the, 27 kilowatt. Oh wait, 27 is what goes into the battery. We pulled 31, 32 kilowatt into the, from the charger. So I guess there's some cooling going on now. What the, okay, uh, it's getting hot. I need to fire up the, the HVAC here. Uh, wait, 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 28 kilo, what the heck, man? Huh? I was about to say, maybe the cooling has been improved in the new uh, EV, well, the GT here. The Grand Theft version, because uh, it, it has some high performance, but uh, maybe uh, not. And can you imagine if it's a 20, no, if it's 35 degrees Celsius in Thailand and we use this car, or even other further, pla uh, further south, yeah, places in Europe. 22 degrees Celsius is, of course, soaking hot over here, right? Uh, hmm. So I went to the restroom and came back and I see that battery care is a little bit low. It was actually even at zero initially. But when I press this one, it will then slowly ramp up. But you also see that climate pulls around 900 watt right now. And then this one will slowly ramp up to cool down the battery. Because it seems like it's not in the most optimal state. I mean, we can probably get that that uh, max power mode or whatever it's called. But uh, it seems like uh, it wants to cool down the battery even further. Look here. So now it slowly ramps up, but it goes really, really slow. And I also see that the battery temperature doesn't really drop that fast. I mean, it's nowhere near track mode in Tesla. Track mode will run the the AC compressor at around five or six kilowatt. No, was it six or seven kilowatt? I don't remember. And it rapidly cools down the battery, getting ready for tracking. Yeah, so, but this one, uh, I guess that the so-called track mode here is not that aggressive. Yeah, you see here, we. I guess I want to have this one lower than 45 degrees and I'm lower than 40 if I can. And you'll see here, but I'll show you something interesting now. See, climate pulls one kilowatt battery care pulls only 250 watts 
Hmm, okay. But if I turn off AC, look what happens then. Go, both go to zero. Now we are in OnlyFans mode. And then look there. Boom! Huh? Can you explain this? You can even hear it. That the cooling goes more aggressive. This is why the car rapid gated during the charging session because I had the climate on. Uh, and now suddenly we are pulling, but this is the sum of battery care and climate previously was around one kilowatt, but now suddenly it runs on 1.8 kilowatt. Well, couldn't it just run on 1.8 kilowatt split between those two previously? Or could we, could we not get 800 watt here and one kilowatt there? Ich weiß nicht. There's a lot of stuff I don't understand with this car. But hopefully now it cools faster. Oh, battery temperature has been optimized. Oh, nice. Okay. Optim oh yeah. Okay, so now suddenly we are in optimal temperature. So that's it. Pro tip. Always use only fans. It will make wonders. Well, it's still cooling. Uh, well, I, I mean, are you ready yet? Or should we go for it? Or should we wait a little bit more? Okay, we're gonna go for it now. Look at this kilowatt here. See, I know one behind me. I'm in sport mode. Oh, 300 kilowatt, 360. Oh. But wait, wait, it wasn't that instant neck snapping acceleration I was expecting. Uh, let me try to... There's a slight delay from when I... You can see it even. Hmm. Why doesn't... It doesn't feel as fast as a Tesla. I mean, it's still pretty quick. Well, I'm gonna try again. Let me slow down a little bit, okay. So now I have a uh, HVAC set on auto, so it's uh, cooling at 500, 400, yeah, 440 watt on the battery care. Let's see if I slow down a little bit. Let's see this one again. Let me see how many kilowatt we can get. Wow, 300, okay, then it drops a bit. So it has uh, 360 kilowatt uh, peak and then it drops a bit. Let me try at lower speed. But it can maintain 330, 300, yeah, over 330 kilowatt for a little bit. That is very nice. Of course, I shouldn't be going too fast over here. Ideally, I should go to um, uh, Germany, but uh, I simply cannot uh, go there in this, uh, this time until I have to return the car. Well, how, how much are we, can we reach in here? Can we see the same numbers that we saw in, uh, in Germany? Okay, let me see. Let me push the brake here. 200 kilowatt. Re wow, this is strong. Let me, let me just get... It, it regions a lot that I need to just... Uh, okay, get a little bit of speed here and then... Look at that. 240 kilowatt region. Wow! <laughs> that is pretty good. I mean, like my, my camera bag is... You, you hear some stuff shuffling around here. It's, yeah, 240 kilowatt. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me see. What can we can it can it keep doing those launches without getting exhausted? Let me see. Let me slow down a little bit more here. Well actually I can just regen, I forgot. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. 370 kilowatt! Whoa! That's a new record. Wait, 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 wait. Slow down. I'm gonna shut up though. You can hear that nice sound, sound of the future. Oh, fun so daily. Wait, 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 let me show you guys something here. Okay, if I use region level, actually region level zero, you will see that when I let off the pedal, it does region slightly. I can see also on the display, car display. Region level one is like this, then you get 25 kilowatt region. Let me speed up a little bit more, so we have enough speed here, okay. Okay, so level one region, All right? Level two region. Okay, I'm getting me more speed, more speed, more dots, more dots, we need more dots. Okay, and then level re three region, okay, here it comes. Wow, 90 kilowatts, I can feel it. 
Okay, and then we have the thing there, the, the max eye pedal on. Okay, let me try that one. The maximum region, the one I prefer actually. Wow, look at that, 130 kilowatt. Well, actually it depends more on speed. So I guess if you speed up a little bit and then slow down, you can see how much, wow. Yeah, this is the one I like. Actually, or level three or the maximum is, is the one I prefer. Well, okay, now we've seen enough. Um, I need to get over to my uh, regular um, hammer stretch and do some acceleration test. Wait, what the heck happened there? Huh? I think it overheated the car scanner. Uh, okay. That's the first time that car scanner bugged out. But okay. <laughs> anyway, huh? A disconnected. What? The car is like, oh shit, too much power. <laughs> Short circuit the, the, the OBD. <laughs> okay, let me see. It's still working or is it kaput now? Uh, yeah, that, that was that was weird. Okay, let me see. Uh, if we just go back to this screen here, does it work? Yeah, we are we are back there. Okay, okay. Ah, that's good. Yeah, but then now I'm just gonna set the cruise control. Wait, uh, this this. Okay, cruise, and then all right. And you see that when we are cruising, we are consuming around 200. No, wait, I mean uh, 20, uh, 22, 20 something kilowatts. Okay, but I think that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.